You are watching Trends. Every Thursday, we take a peek at the future to see what's ahead of us. How marathons became a multi-billion dollar industry. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back. Many of you probably enjoy being active, and some of you might live for those early morning runs around your neighborhood just to breathe in some fresh air and kickstart your day. Maybe running is really your thing, and you even train hard to participate in marathons. Today is especially for you guys. In today's video, we're exploring how this seemingly inexpensive sport has transformed into a multi-billion dollar industry. Let's dive in. Introduction Aluxers, you might be surprised to know the origins of modern-day marathon races dates back to 490 BC when Persians invaded Greece. A Greek soldier named Pheidippides ran a distance of 25 miles from the town of Marathon, located near the battlefield, to the city of Athens to bring news of the Persian defeat. Today, all over the world, numerous marathon races are organized in different formats, with a standard race length typically set at 26.2 miles, with half marathons of 13 miles. Right now, there are six major marathon races held worldwide in iconic cities like Tokyo, Boston, London, Chicago, New York, and Berlin under the World Marathon Major Series. Completing all six is a major athletic accomplishment. Apart from these six major races, there are more than 30 international marathons like the Dubai and Paris marathons that are considered by runners to be the most anticipated events of the year. And it's not only average individuals and athletes participating in high numbers that makes these races so grand, but even high-profile billionaires and celebrities like Richard Branson and Oprah Winfrey are regulars at these events. Most billionaires participating are running for charities, and many corporations will arrange marathons as a way to fundraise for a cause. But in recent years, these races have also become a commercial event to increase brand awareness and raise profits. Rising awareness of health and fitness, along with how easy it is to just go for a run, is making marathon racing more popular than many other community sports, and participation numbers have increased by more than 50% over the past decade. Top marathon races like the Dubai or London marathons also come with hefty cash prices in the ballpark of a million dollars, making them even more attractive. This has encouraged many aspiring runners to pursue marathon racing full-time, while also making it a lucrative business opportunity for corporate bigwigs and sports brands. Currently, marathon racing is a $1.4 billion industry, supporting the billion-dollar athleisure market, and is expected to keep on growing, with more than 17 million runners participating in these races across the U.S. alone every year. But now, let's take a closer look at what it takes to organize a marathon. Where do these profits come from, and where do they go? The Economics of a Marathon Hey Luxers, if you've ever participated in a marathon, chances are you know entry fees can be pretty steep. Sometimes it might even feel like you're running for your own money just because events like the New York City Marathon will charge upwards of $250 just to take a spot at the starting line. Interestingly though, these races have become so popular that those interested are charged about $11 to be considered for the selection lottery before even getting the opportunity to participate. But in a way, those fees are kinda justified. Organizing a marathon takes months of hard work, from setting up a registration process, orchestrating ample security, first aid tents, not to mention the cash prize winnings. It's a big job. Organizers must decide the exact route, get it cleared by relevant government bodies, and certify the distances with any authorized associations. Arrangements need to be made for providing participants with water, snacks, and medical aid should the need arise. And even if organizers are lucky enough to secure volunteers to keep things in place, they will often still have to hire paid staff too. Adding to this, all promotions, marketing, swag, and certificates given to participants, plus the actual cash prizes, only really allow organizers to break even if it's not being sponsored corporately. Now, one of the biggest, most important costs of these marathon races are the timing systems used to monitor participants through the course, typically an RFID-based timing system, which runs upwards of $15,000, while hiring a company for timing a race can cost between $2 to $5 per runner. 
All of these costs and efforts considered, it's clear to see organizers are depending on registration fees to pull everything off, which explains why participation costs at some of the world's most famous marathons has more than doubled in recent years. However, those fees have increased despite other costs actually being minimized by adopting more efficient technologies and entering into sponsorship deals with athleisure brands. Today, marathon races are clearly catching on with participation at an all-time high, which is great because the world needs more active people. Helping with that popularity are untimed, themed marathons like Color Me Rad, which typically consist of 5 to 10 kilometer runs while getting covered in powdered pigments. Also, with them being untimed and much shorter than the standard 26 miles, it's less intimidating, more fun, and draws a bigger crowd. All great things for the organizer's bottom line. But aside from the folks putting on the event, there are several other players who cash in big every time a marathon pops up. These aren't just major sports brands like Nike or Adidas providing running shoes, but also multiple small businesses participating in marathon expos to sell specialized running accessories. Marathon expos are filled with vendors selling products like foam rollers, polarized lenses, and running snacks. And thanks to the economies of scale, prices are slashed by 20 to 50 percent as compared to the retail outlets, making them irresistible for runners. These running accessories have gained so much popularity, there's even an undergarment company named Runderwear. Amusing, right? Marathon races have also created business opportunities for running coaches and sports companies that now provide specialized training sessions, diet plans, and weekly calendars to improve running performance for those in training. Companies like Adidas have also come up with marathon training apps to monitor individual performance through online plans. There are even some corporations with management encouraging their employees to take up marathon training as a sort of learning exercise to improve their overall management skills and performance. And Aluxers, while you track your training progress online, we know you're going to want to keep yourself secure, and that's why we recommend using a VPN. It's a super easy to use piece of software that protects your data online, so the government or other companies can't spy on you and you can enjoy the internet you know and love. We partnered with the great folks at NordVPN to bring you an amazing offer. If you go to alux.com VPN and sign up using the code ALUX, you'll get 70% off NordVPN. Only $3.49 a month. Plus, you get an additional month for free to see if you find it valuable. Protect yourself online today by going to alux.com slash VPN. Challenges and Threats Even with the importance of health and fitness in sharp focus on social media and growing participation numbers, these races are considered to be more of an experience, making them less materialistic and thus harder to capitalize on. While the super hyped up running accessories designed to improve your marathon experience appeals greatly to first timers, to any seasoned marathon runner it's just junk they know they don't need. Another challenge is also the thing they depend on, registration fees. The steep cost of getting a bib and a place in the starting line is enough to turn some runners off, ultimately putting a cap on potential profits. According to a U.S. Running Trends report, the number of race participants saw a 1% decline in 2018 as compared to the number in 2017, the majority of which is attributed to the fact that registration fees in the U.S. are on average 60-70% to 70 higher than anywhere else in the world. And even though marathon racing is considered to be an endurance exercise that improves overall health, for older or less physically fit runners, it also increases the risk of cardiac arrest in the short term, especially during the race, which is an added stress and expense to mitigate. Conclusion Marathon running is all about pushing boundaries, personal, physical, mental, and even spiritual in some cases. Like anything, corporations will try to use it to turn a profit, and there will always be sports brands looking to partner and make gains through their loyal customers, the runners. But the most dedicated marathon athletes will always lace up for race day. So who knows how big this industry will become in the future? Question. Aluxers, having such a large international audience, we love to hear your opinions. What do you think of running marathons? Is it something you'd like to do one day? Let us know in the comments. And as a thank you for sticking with us until the end, as always, here's your bonus. Curious to know who's the current richest marathon runner? His name is Eliod Kipchoge, and he's considered to be the greatest marathon runner of our time. 
The 34-year-old Kenyan long-distance runner has won the prestigious London Marathon three times, bouncing his net worth to a whopping 500 million US dollars. And apart from the cash winnings from various races, his income is also supplemented by a sponsorship deal with Nike. Nicely done. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.